Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a live website. This website is really simple. As you can see, it's just a sentence and it's an IP address. A next step after this tutorial would be to claim a web address and set it to this IP address, for example, mywebsite.com. Another thing that you can do is actually add content to the website. But this will give you a really good foundation to figure out how to launch the website and make it live. So this tutorial consists of two parts. In the first part, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the server and then we're going to take the code from the server, we're going to put it into a GitHub repository, and then from that we're going to pull it into our local machine and edit that code inside of Sublime. And we're going to be using the Django web framework. In the second part of the tutorial, after we've made an edit on our local machine using the Sublime text editor, we're going to push that change to the GitHub repository, and then we're going to copy that code onto the server and make it live. So you'll see a change that you did inside of Sublime reflected on the website. So in this tutorial, I'm using DigitalOcean. It's a cloud service provider and it enables you to deploy applications to a server. I really like using DigitalOcean. I used it for so many different projects when I was in school, and I can give you a $10 um, DigitalOcean credit too, and I'll put it into the description. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I am setting up the, um, the project. So I'm doing a one-click app. I'm using the Django web framework, and I'm just choosing my data center region, adding SSH key, all these basics. So now what we're doing is creating an SSH key. This will enable us to log in to our server without requiring a password. So I'm just generating one right now, and then I need to copy it, and I need to save it to my Droplet. Just in case if you're new to this, um, I'm using the terminal app on the Mac. It's also referred to as the command line. And so now we just have to wait for the droplet to finish configuring. So right now we're just waiting for the setup. So just going to take a second. There we go. So now we're going to SSH into the droplet. So we're going to do root at and then get the IP address. And then... We're going to look at this tutorial. This was put out by DigitalOcean. They have great tutorials. And this is just some directions um, on setting up the Django application. And we can follow along. So first, we're going to um, act as the Django user, go to the Django project that was already set up for us. We're going to run this command. This was in another tutorial I made, and it shows how to start an app uh, within the Django project. So this next part is going to involve some code changes. So this is where GitHub is going to come in handy. So here's the test account that I just created. I have no repositories on it so far, so I'm going to create a new one for this project. And we're going to come up with some kind of a name for it. So in this next part, we're going to take these instructions and we're going to apply them inside of the server that we created. So inside of this droplet from DigitalOcean. So we're going to initialize the repository here. And what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to take all the files that are inside of our Django project, and we want to push them into this repository so that all that code can live in GitHub. So I'm just going through some initial setup steps right now. Um, after we have the code on GitHub, we're going to be able to pull that code down to our local machine or if you're working with a friend, your friend can pull the code to their machine and then they can make changes and push it to the GitHub repository and then those changes can be pulled up to this server and then reflected on the website. So it's kind of a nice intermediate place to store code and see all of the changes that have happened over time and, um, you know, like work with other people. So yeah, um, so right now we're just following the instructions, and then we're going to push all of these files, and it's almost finished. 
I just need to log in, so I'm authenticating. The next thing that we see is all of the files are inside of this repository. And now what we want to do is we want to take all those files from GitHub and we want to put them into our local machine. So one setup step here is that you'll need to register your SSH key um, from your local machine with your GitHub account. And this is just a way to authenticate so that you're able to push up code to the, um, to the GitHub repo. Actually, I already had one set up, so I'm just showing you what it would take. So now we're about to enter part two of the tutorial. So we have the GitHub repository set up. What we're about to do is pull that code to our local machine, edit it inside of Sublime. So we're going to write code. And then if you see the, bo the box on the bottom, we're going to then um, take the code that we just wrote, push it to GitHub. And then next, you can see that we're going to copy that code into the website server. And then finally, it's going to be reflected on the website. So just to give you a high level view of everything we're about to go through, um, this is what it is. Cool. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to clone the repository. So I'm gonna run git clone, and I gave it the link right there. And then if you, if you can see, I should have all the files. So I'm going to use Sublime Text Editor and open up the, um, the repository files. There we go. So Django Digital Ocean example. Cool. Okay, now we can resume the tutorial from DigitalOcean. So here it tells us to edit views.py. There we go. That's the text that we're going to see on the website. Cool. Now we are going to edit urls.py. Okay. If you want to see more details about this step, you can look in another tutorial that I gave on creating a Django website. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put all of these changes into the repository. So we edited them locally and now we're pushing them back up. And I'm just committing a description. Um, I'm, I'm committing a change and I'm adding a description to what I changed. Okay, so if we go back into GitHub, we can see you can see the commit. There we go. Cool. So it worked. So now all of the most up-to-date code is inside of GitHub. And you can see the changes that I made right there. And this is just copied from the tutorial, so nothing surprising. Okay, so now the next step is to go into the um, into the server again. Cool. So before we do this step, so we, we basically want to update the website. So let's see what the website looks like right now, actually. Cool. So this is what it looks like right now. And what we want to do is we want to update it so that it can get the updated code that we just edited locally. So we want to pull in the changes. OK, we just did that. You can see. Um, the number of adds and deletes that had happened. And then we're going to restart G Unicorn. Okay, refresh, and then there we go.